What's happening y'all? Chris Bonner here, Strength Camp E-Coach. Happy 4th of July to my fellow countrymen. Today we're gonna get into a great overhead lift that's often mistaken, the push press. Let's check out the technique. Begin by establishing the front rack position, but have your elbows slightly pointed down. With a neutral spine and your torso braced, quickly drop your hips, producing torque through your heels. My favorite cue here is drop your balls between your heels. With one powerful movement, squeeze your glutes, extending your hips and knees, driving the bar overhead. Slightly clear your face, push your armpits forward and lock your arms in the upright position. Your armpits should push forward. When the bar is overhead, make sure the arms are covering the ears, your torso is embraced, and you're continually contracting your glutes. There's a couple common mistakes, one being the lats being too tight, affecting your ability to press overhead, jerking the weight instead of actually push pressing, driving the hips too far back like a squat, or driving the knees too far forward. Now as far as benefits go, this is a great force coupling exercise. You have the power in the hips involved, as well as locking the weight overhead and stabilizing the torso. I usually pick, uh, typically like to put this in my routine and substitute it for any kind of upper body pressing, um, you know, I really like to stay below fives with this and really work strength and power. There it is, the push press. Make these corrections in your training, substitute it for your overhead, your jerks, your bench press, whatever you need to do. It's a great movement. Chris Bonner, E-Coach, I'm gonna holler at you guys next time.